días, señor Simmons. Didn't your mule kick you? There's the money. You have decided to pay and stay. No one drives me off my land. Not even Mr. Wells, who thinks he's the high mucky muck around here. Nobody wants you to leave, senor. Especially Mr. Wills. As long as you pay for his kindness. Yeah, his kindness. His gunslingers cutting my fences. Using my pigs for pistol targets. Beating me up. Someday there'll be law in this country. And I'll be the first witness against Mr. Wills. Adios, senor Simmons. And come back with the rest of your payment. You are $20 short. <laughs> Alvarado. Alvarado. Ah, señor Mariscal Smith. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Come in, señor. I will make some coffee. Uh, I, I'd like to show you something first. You alone? Si, yes, alone. How about that Apache hand of yours? Natchez? Natchez I sent to town for frijoles and rice. And of course, always coffee. Natchez be along pronto. Maybe a little while. You want him? No, you. You're, uh, you're sure you're alone? Completamente, senor. Sometimes I do not see a alone. Today, Yes. Speak what you wish. We are alone with God. Good.
Hi, Doc. How's things? Slow. Awful slow. Huh? Tried to kill me with this. What happened to him? Yes. Tried to drag us? No. Face to face showdown. He jumped you first. Self defense then. Yes, sir. Self defense. Who was it? Carlos Alvarado. But Carlos ain't no rustler. I didn't think he was either. Then why in the name of Sam Hill did you have to go and shoot him? Because I had to, Bill. Do you think I feel good about it? I'm sorry, Frank. I was riding on T. Lazy W. land along the line fence by Lost Doggy Creek. And I uh, came across this butchered beef on Alvarado's land, just over the other side of the fence. So I rode up to his place, just to ask him a few questions. I didn't figure he had anything to do with it. Well, uh, Carlos didn't like it. He got almighty high and huffy about it. Carlos always was hot-headed, sir. And he came at me, reared up, and had his gun out, and he had three shots. Well, one of them hit me. So it was him and me. Well, afterwards, I found that hide out in the barn. Anyone else see this? No. And the uh, body? I left him there for the coroner's report. You did right. If you like, I'll uh, ride out there with Doc Mott and bring the body in. No. You're a party in this. Send Gentry. I want a written report from you. Get the coroner and bring the body in. Yes, sir. I sure hated to have to do that, Wayne. You don't believe me, is that it? Is that why you sent Bill out? When a man is killed in this district, it's my job to investigate. Even when the killer happens to be one of my deputies. I don't like that word, killer. It's not a pleasant word. When one man kills another, that is the term. I've seen gunplay all my life, Frank. I came west out of St. Joe on a wagon train in 51. I was just a kid. I knew Bridger and Hickok and Bat Masters and Shotgun Thompson and a lot of others. It was coyote coyote in those days. The West was rough and tough, and the man had to be the same to last. But the cowmen have got to learn that they can't go cutting farmers' fences. The settlers have got to learn that they can't bushwhack a line rider without answering to the law. The hog leg is on its way out. The law's coming in. This thing will end up in a museum. Oh, I know. You said self-defense. Gentry's findings will probably bury you out. And when they do, I'll back you to the last cartridge. But I've made it pretty plain to the whole country around here where I stand on gunplay. I've got to be sure. Well, you can wash your hands of me soon. Any news of my transfer yet? No. I'd appreciate it if you get in touch with a marshal in Tucson and hurry it along. Well, you can't leave till your replacement gets here. And not until this Alvarado mess is cleared up. Get that arm tended to and write out your report. you been, Billy boy? Checking the corpse. That's my work as coroner and undertaker. Where is it? Down the creek bottom, a big drag tail. He was dragged from the Lazy W onto Alvarado's place. Dragged? Hmm. That'll be a hard one to fix up for the funeral. 
Since when have you been embalming cow critters, Doc? Oh. <laughs> What'd you find? Oh, very interesting. Speaking of how, as Undertaker or Coroner? Both. As Coroner, I'd say he was shot from high up, like Deputy Smead was on horseback. Or else Carlos Krabs when he came a shooting. And as Undertaker? Oh, he'll look fine. Great subject, fine features. A little pomade on the hair, a little color on the cheeks. Carlos Alvarado will be a picture. You know one thing about the Spanish people. They sure do right by their dead. Mm hmm At your price. Let's get him in the wagon. Yeah. Careful. Now, careful of him. Easy. <laughs> well, I guess I got all the data I need. Going to hold an inquest? Oh, I don't think so. He was shot in front. Just one of them things. Lucky man lives. Lucky Frank Smead? Did you ever see that man handle a six-gun? I never carry a gun myself. Just a couple of cigars. Settles any argument. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carner needs more data. Uh, Alvarado's next to kin? Conchita. C every other Spanish girl in town is named Conchita. And every other one is called Lupi. Conchita sings at the cantina. Oh, that one. A flower of beauty. <laughs> uh, relationship to the deceased? Cousin. C-U-Z-I-N. Now, uh... The undertaker can presume that this Conchita will defray the burying expenses. You can ask her. But don't sell her the gold hearse with the black and silver lash up. Oh, now, Bill. A baby comes into the world a howling and a bellering. A man ought to go out in silent dignity. Proper life. Keep your hands steady. Would, uh, would you gentlemen like a cigar? What are you two doing in here? Same as you, Marshal. Gathering information like you. You're strangers, aren't you? You Texans? Never ask a man if he's from Texas. If he ain't, why make him feel bad? If he is, he'll tell you soon enough. Who dry ghost Alvarado? If you want to talk, put down them carbines. Who did Alvarado in? It, it, it was self-defense. Who, I said? Frank Smee, Deputy Marshal. Deputy Marshal? He wears a star. He has to follow the law. Must have been self-defense, then. What are you two after? Alvarado worked for us. Alvarado hasn't worked in years. His cousin supports him. And we work for somebody higher up on the mountain. Something's missing. Something valuable. Very, very valuable. Want to file a theft complaint? No, just catch a thief. You're riding in circles and I don't follow you. Just give me an idea who you suspect and what you're after. Maybe I can help you. I told you. Something valuable's gone. And it didn't belong to Mr. Alvarado. It don't belong to us either. That's all? Except, have you seen that Apache around? No, but I'd like to talk to him. So would we. Just a minute, gents. You play too free and easy with them carbines in this country, and uh, this gentleman's going to do a great business. Yeah. Maybe the gold hurts with the silver latch. Why, Marshal, we ain't the least bit ornery. We just don't like anybody to leave us up a creek. What the heck kind of a fandango is that? You know. Texas had to petition four times to get herself taken into the United States. Why did Congress ever give in? Why? Why? I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Querido, chiquito, a donde, a donde está? Mi corazón llora, mi vida es dura. ¿A dónde, a dónde estás, querido, chiquito? Where are you? Where are you now? You left and I let you. I'll never forget you. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde estás? 
Your smile and your eyes were nothing but lies. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Querido, chiquito, a donde, a donde estás? Tus besos perdidos no son olvidados. A donde, a donde estás, querido, chiquito, where are you, where are you? Hey, you have to know Frank Smith? I love you, I need you, I'm sorry I freed you, a donde, Mr. Smith, Marshal Smith, quiet. You're gone, and I'm glad. It's remembering that's bad. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Querido, chiquito. We'd like a little palaver with you. Just take a moment, Tito. <laughs> I'm sorry, Conchita. Haven't you done enough evil for one day? Haven't you? Please, Conchita. I, I was only trying to tell him to shut up. Come on outside, both of you. No, Mr. Deputy Marshal Smead. He just wanted to hear from the horse's mouth while you sent Alvarado up Salt Creek. Was it, um, line of duty? The marshal's got my report. Ask him. We got a message for you. More important than a message. An order. Very important order from a very important figure hereabouts. When he whispers, people take it for shouting. Get to it. What do you want? The boss of the T-Laser W wants to palaver with you. Mr. Thornton Wills at the main ranch house. I don't know him. Never had any business with him. You have now, Johnny Law. Trot. Don't mosey. Here. Here's your present. Just a moment, Kitchi. I want to tell you exactly how it happened. Asesino. Tengo cuidado. I don't like to be called murderer. Now, listen to me. I don't blame you for feeling the way you do. But you haven't heard my side of it. And you're going to if I have to hog tie it. Bill Gentry's my best friend. I don't want anything to happen to that. You're his girl, and you're going to marry him, aren't you? Yes. All right. That's why I came here myself, personally, to tell you exactly how it happened. I don't want you going around with any wrong ideas. Do you think it's easy to shoot a man and then have to tell it to his kinfolk? Please, leave me alone. I'm tired and upset and I'm going home. I'll walk you to the door. I don't want to be seen with you. I said I'll walk you to the door. Now, are you going peaceful-like or do I have to keep a hold of your arm? I usually go out the side door. No. Across the whole room. I want people to see us. That whipping you gave me might have sprouted a lot of wrong ideas in people's heads. Looked like you might directly be accusing me of something. Now, uh, come on. I went out to your cousin's place to ask him about some Russell beef. I didn't think he had anything to do with it. I was just investigating. But Carlos flared up, he went for his gun, and I had to protect myself. Mr. Smead. I've heard you're an expert with the gun, but you did not have to kill him, did you? Well, there was nothing else I could do. His second shot knocked me down, and I was shooting from the ground. Believe me, I'm, I'm sorry it happened. I, I wish it hadn't. And I just wanted you to know how it happened. Vaya con Dios, señor. Adios. Getting someone? Who? Bill Gentry, who loves you. Oh, I love you too, dear. Mucho, mucho, mucho. It's not. I have 
and a family now. We'll raise our own, honey. When? Can't we get married soon? Soon. A week? Two days? <laughs> oh, will you stop it, honey? It can't be too soon for me. But you know where I stand. You know I'm up for Marshal of the Northern Territory. It's bound to come through. Forrester wrote Senator Calkins. You know, I, I hope it happens tomorrow. And when we do get married, it'll be with better pay and a, in a new town with new friends. What's the matter? Frank came into the dance hall tonight, Bill, to tell me how it happened. Oh, I should hate him. No matter what he says, I hate him. Now, listen to me, honey. Frank only did what any man who is a man would do, defend himself. Besides, you know that Carlos was hot-headed and proud. The whole world knew that, Bill. He had hot peppers in his brain. And honey, try not to be bitter. Or it's bad for you, not for him. Believe me, honey, I know Frank. We've been through a lot together. And if there was ever a friend I could chalk up, he'd be the first. You know, it took a lot of guts, Frank, coming to you the way he did. Shows the kind of character he's got. I suppose you're right, Bill. But I can't help the way I feel. You know, you should have thanked him. Do you think so? But he was very kind, and he said he was sorry. Oh, Bill, will you tell him? Will you tell him I'm sorry? Soon, Bill. Soon. Soon. Good night. Good night. sleeping in every room. We've got some questions for you. You listen, you answer, and you make no noise. Now, here's what we want to know. Listen carefully. Think. Do you know what your cousin Carlos Alvarado was doing? Did you ever see Deputy Smead at Carlos's place? Did you ever see them anywhere together? Were they friends or enemies? Now, you tell us. But no uproar, no ruckus, and I'll let you go. Face the wall. Put your hands high on the wall. You hurt Johnny? If they did, I'll kill him right here on the spot. No, no, Bill, no. I'm, I'm all right. I'm put all a right. hand on you? No. All right, you two. I'm taking you down to the courthouse. And I'd think it kindly if you try to make a run for it. I like a moving target. Ain't no call to make a Texas twister out of this. We were just waiting in the room, waiting to talk to her. In the dark? All right, let's go. We'd like to know the charge. All right, take a handful. Illegal entry, assault and battery, suspicion of burglary, and resisting arrest. Come on. Go downstairs and stay with Mrs. Trail. Now, join hands and circulate. Say, circle around, get it percolate. Down, man, left, with your left hand. Say, you walk right in, rock, left, ring. Stay with the old sound and you meet old Scoot. Now, there's Dale with the run down shoes. Go promenade. Hey, promenade. Say, you go with an eye. Go scared. First thing, get down and get there. Yeah. Hey! 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 Hey!
that be Mr. Thornton W. Wills over there? It just couldn't be anyone else. Good evening, Mr. Wells. Howdy. You that deputy, eh? I had words you wanted to say me. Mighty kind of you to come. Grab yourself some grub, and it's an order red eye. No, thanks. Okay, boys, let's fiddle up. Now, wait a minute, Foghorn. I'll call this one. Go right down that dusty collar of yours. Okay, Thorny. Thanks. Form your squares, folks. How about that old do si do ho down? <laughs> All set, boys. Everybody in your places. Straighten up your faces. Tighten up your traces for another long pull. All right, boys, let's go. Now it's on us to the right and on us to the left. Now we'll all join hands and circle to the left. Something of mine is missing. I will break and swing and promenade home. It's promenade, boys, promenade. Somewhere around $8,000 in gold pieces. Eight, ten, twenty thousand dollars means as much to me as a sick cat. All right, boys, the double elbow. Hurry up, cowboy, don't be slow. Meet your part with a double elbow. Watch them, boys, and here we go. Swing them high and swing them low. I give twice eight thousand away every Christmas. I keep on swinging that calico. Right foot up and left foot down. But what's mine is mine. Nobody high grades without setting me on the prod. Whirly gig, whirly gig, whirly gig round. Rope your cow and brand your cat. Bring your honey an hour and a half. You want to file a complaint? With you, personally, not with your office. Here I come with the old mess wagon. Hind wheels broke and the axles dragging. Meet your honey and a patter on the head. You don't like biscuit, give her cornbread. I don't follow you, Mr. Wills. Good, that's fine. I'll say this much. Alvarado was in possession of money that belonged to me. He sent word in the morning to pick it up. Early afternoon, he was dead by your gun. My two men got there, the cash was gone. And you were the only one who'd been around. It's promenade, boys, promenade. You know where, and I don't care. Take your honey to a high-back chair. That's it. I ain't interested in your ruckus with Alvarado. Not particularly interested, he ain't among the living. I don't even care who's got the cash. Just so as I get it back. I wouldn't like you to hint that I had anything to do with it. Touchy gents ought to be allowed to pack an iron on the hip. The day's coming, not far off. I'm for it. Laws to protect a man's honest property against high graders and gunslingers. Relax. Poncho's my watchdog. He's got a bad bite. Now I ain't accusing you of a thing. If you feel guilty, edgy, that's your lookout. You might just know who took it. You might be able to just find it. I want it back. I aim to get it back if it costs me ten times as much. I don't know anything about it. I can't help you. That's the way you want it. You had a fair shake. Oh, uh, you sure you won't have some grub? Best barbecue you'll ever taste. Mr. Charlton, you're off the reservation. Yes, Bill. A little presence in town. Wouldn't concern these two mavericks, would it? Yes, it would, precisely. It's coming up a hot day. Too hot for anyone to languish in the jail cell. How come they're out? Bail hasn't been posted? Oh, yes, it has. I just paid it over. It hasn't been set as yet. Yes, yes. Everything is legal. The way it should be in this commonwealth. I saw the judge this morning, just before I came over here. He was at breakfast. These are the papers, all duly executed, signed, legal as a branded horse. You keep handy. You got some charges to face. And stay away from Miss Alvarado. If I catch you looking at her, or even talking to her, I'll kill you right in the spot. He wears his heart on his sleeve, don't he? Friends of yours? No, Bill. Ships that pass in the night. But they are friends of an acquaintance of mine. A very powerful acquaintance. Whose bread I eat, his song I sing. I don't follow you. I don't relish being followed, sir. 
Do you know an Apache named Natchez? I know all my Apaches. Old Natchez worked for Carlos Alvarado. I signed his permit to leave the reservation several years ago. Why? He's not at the Alvarado ranch. He's missing. I am the shepherd of my savage sheep, Bill. I assure you, old Natchez is not missing. Where is he? I'd like to talk to him. Up in the peak somewhere with Chato's band. I had a report he returned to the reservation yesterday. Can you get word to him? Tell him I'd like to talk to him here in the office? <laughs> I can get word to him and tell him, but telling an Apache to do anything is like trying to saddle a cougar. I'd appreciate it if you would. Nice seeing you, Bill. Well, you look fit to be tied, Bill. You know those two burglars are out on bail? And you know who went to the judge and paid it? The Indian agent. Well, Mr. Charlton's feeding off his range, isn't he? I'm a little mixed up, Mr. Forrester. What's brewing? Nah, it's too soon to tell, Bill. Maybe coffee, tea, maybe arrow poisoning. We'll just sit back and let it boil till it boils over. Then we'll see what's in the pot. What those two men were after, I can't figure. You questioned them this morning? For three hours. All I got was a lot of baked wind. It led me right up the creek and straight up the mountain. Mr. Alvarado's death seems to be much more important than his life ever was. Meaning what, sir? Of course, I know you're a friend of Frank's. I imagine I know exactly how you feel. But what makes you think his story's right till it's checked? I'll tell you why, Mr. Forrester. Two years ago, before you came here, when Roger Malcolm was marshal, I was mixed up in the shooting scrape. Yeah, I know. It's in the record. I was in bad trouble. The man was one of the Jacklins. It always been sour blood between his people and mine. Cause of duty, I had to serve him with a warrant. He showed fight and he drew. I had to. I won out. The people said I was filling a grudge behind the protection of my badge. It was touch and go. The people were all for hanging me. He even went so far as to put a rope around my neck. Frank stepped in, stood off the mob, and told him that the law would take its course. He locked me up, swore on a posse to guard me, and then went out looking for evidence. Who knows? If Frank's in trouble, maybe I can get a witness for him. Well, Bill, cases are like people. Each case has its own personality. But don't believe anything about any case until all the facts are in. Yes, but besides that, Frank went to the cantina and told Conchita that, that he was sorry and, and how the shooting had happened. Well, that was an honorable thing to do. Let's get down to brass tacks. Look at that uh, hide. This animal was sick. That's right. Probably sick enough to die. But no rustler would bother high grading a sick animal. Much less a dead one. No, Bill, I don't think rustling had any part in this play. Take that over to the vets. I want an opinion as to what this steer died of. Put that junk in the wagon, get out of the country. It's my land, I bought it. You didn't buy the water rights. Your rent is yours. You haven't paid anything in three months. Now, you better save what you want. We ain't leaving. They don't want this junk, burn it. can destroy it. You said teach him a lesson. Let him get out of the country. Put out that fire. I don't want settlers leaving. We need to get this country settled up. People will make wealth. Hawkins, why haven't you paid your water fees? I haven't seen any coin since last fall, harvest time. You intend to pay up? I'm an honest man, Mr. Wells. I'll pay you when I can. I want to talk to you two. Burn and destroy. That's all you two seem to know. I don't want destruction, I just want results. In other, more important matters, you're back to like a couple of pumpkin heads. I don't believe by the great Sam Hill, either one of you could drive a spike into a snowbank. You left the trail in town as broad as your heads are square, and ended up in the calaboose like a couple of kids on their first spree. I don't want this thing built up into a big war dance. I like my affairs private, clean cut, quick. 
We were thinking, Mr. Wills. You finding it a strain? If we could find that Indian hand who worked for Alvarado. He's corralled when I want him. You boys are making too much of a fandango out of this. It's a simple problem. It's got to be Smead, the Apache, or that singing girl, Conchita. She's Alvarado's cousin. It ever occur to you she engineered this whole thing and she and Smead are in cahoots? You got the saddle on the wrong way there, Mr. Wells. She whipped Smead last night in the cantina in front of everybody. Yeah, out in public. Shows how clever she is. Wants the whole world to think she and Smead are enemies. Now get back to town. Find out everything you can about her and from her. Between the two of you, you ought to be able to rustle up her brain. Now saddle up and hightail it. Sure, Mr. Wills. We'll rope your cab for you, Mr. Wills. Where are you heading, Frank? Serving an eviction notice on the Hernandez clan. You got yourself a new case? Oh, uh, you know how Forrester is. Everything has to be double-checked right down to the last Heyman Whiffle tree. You're a little like that yourself, partner. What are you doing with the hide? He wanted me to have the vet look at it. Thinks maybe the animal died, maybe he wasn't rustled. Did you, uh, find out anything? Yes, he said the animal could have died before he was skinned, and on the other hand, he couldn't exactly tell. Huh? Well, it could have been. I'll be, uh, glad to talk over anything that I know about this. Thanks. Say, Frank, I've been checking your report very carefully. What do you think about this whole thing, the rustling angle? Well, uh, to put the gun on the table, I thought it was kind of funny. When I came across that carcass, I saw the drag trail. It led off of the T. Lazy W. land on Alvarado's. And the three strands of wire that were recently cut? Yeah, I noticed. Well, I think this, Bill, I think that uh, Alvarado was mixed up in something. Somebody was trying to plaster a charge of rustling against him for one reason or another. Well, when I came across the carcass, I uh, wanted to find out about it, too, so I went to see Alvarado. And eh? the rest you know. Let me know how it goes. If you uh, turn up anything, I'll be glad to talk it over with you. I'll be obliged to you, Frank. No hard feelings about this, huh? No, you just got your job to do. Ah, uh, you know how Forrester is. Yeah, well, keep the old man happy. Hasta luego. See ya. Well, speak up. What do you want? Usted me buscó, señor Mariscal. You'll have to speak English. No English. Well, we can't do any... Bill, just in time, uh, this fellow speaks nothing but Spanish, I guess. You are Natchez. What? Yo, Natchez. You can write. 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 This Smeet? Si, sí, este. Asesino. Pistolero. Something about Frank. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like him. Well, there's nothing else we can do till we get this translated. Thank you, Natchez. Thank you. Señorita, ¿Qué pasó? yo tengo mucha importancia que decir. ¿Qué pasó? El señor Smith mató a su primo sin provocación, sin... Él no puede, defiende. Vete a la sierra, escóndete.
Ever see a man cry? Yes, on occasion. <laughs> Hernandez bawled like a baby when I threw him off his land. Said I've been his family for 200 years. Legally, Mr. Wills is right. Hernandez had to go. Morally, he's all wrong. But we serve the law. Oh, you uh, speak Spanish? Tell us what this says. Well, come on. You said you savage Spanish. What's it say? Well, I talk it kitchen Spanish, but I don't read it so good. It takes a little while to figure it out. Smeet. S-M-E-E-T. I guess that's me. Yeah, that's all we understood, except the word Alvarado. All right, I'll, I'll tell you what I make of it. Mr. Smeed shot Mr. Alvarado, who had a pistol and tried... This her motto. Yeah, uh, tried to kill Mr. Smeed, and Mr. Smeed was forced to shoot Mr. Alvarado. And it's uh, signed Natchez, uh, Sub-Chief Les Pulgas of Patches. So, Natchez saw exactly how it happened. Yeah, from what the note says, he did. Well, he can verify what I told you. That does it, this note. He's a witness. True. Of course, I'll want to take his deposition through an interpreter. But it looks like your version's being borne out, Frank. I'll take that evidence, you know. It was still under investigation. You're so careful, Wayne. I bet you got your coffin picked out. Bill, take this note over to Judge Rodriguez. Ask him to write out his translation of it. But well, Frank read it, and he knows Spanish inside out. Yeah, I know, Bill, but I want a disinterested opinion. Besides, I want to do all I can to Verify Frank's version. Yes, sir. Closed carriage Bob Woods rents out for funerals. Who are they? Them two been hanging around town. The two you locked up after the ruckus last night. I told those dirty skunks. Any idea where they went? No, sir. Connie said they let her out the other side of town. What do you want with you, honey? I wanted to know if if I knew about Carlos and what he was doing, and I didn't. I didn't believe me. And then that man, the little one. Yes, man, on. Go on. He hit me over and over. The other man, he was driving the team. Did you get the doctors yet? As soon as Panchita gets back, I'll send him for Dr. Mott. Get the other one, Dr. Ackerman. Yes, Bill, sir. don't leave me now. I've got some business to take care of. Bill, I've got something to tell you. About your friend, Frank Smeet. That can wait. He's okay. Bill. Bill. Bill.
Hey, you two. Mesendyke, Van on. Get up. Hurry! All right, get him up. Reach! You with me, Peppy? All the way, Bill. Not too far. Keep your eyes on the rest of the customers. I'll take care of these two. You, girl, get the guns. Get the guns. Put them on the bar. Another fake arrest? Or what is it? Blessings. And Dale. No, senor. Not this time. Thanks. Cuidado! Hito con el arma! Tu es prodista y una carta a la policía, ¿verdad? Este negocio no mío. Usted tiene sus razones. ¿A quién más te diste? Nadie, patrón. A nadie. No más Conchita. Conchita? You told Conchita? Idiota. Idiota. Vamos. Ándale adelante. I can't believe it. 
I can't believe that Frank would deliberately gun down Alvarado, take something from his ranch, and then make up that yarn about the rustling. By the way, what did he take from the ranch, if he did? I don't know, Bill. Not just didn't say. Somebody's lying. I know Frank too well to believe this. Well, I know Notches very well, too, since I was a little girl. He'd cut off his arm before he'd lie. I'm sorry, Bill. I hate to have to tell you this about someone who you think so much of. Honey, we've got to be sure of our facts. Translate this one. Senor Smeed Mato. Mr. Smeed killed Mr. Alvarado. Mr. Alvarado had no pistol or anything. He was unarmed. I ran away to avoid trouble with the police. Natchez, under Chief Las Pulgas Apache. What, what does this mean, this, this armando? This armado means unarmed, without arms. Frank said something else, said it meant that Alvarado tried to kill him. It's very simple, dear, it's almost like English, look. This armado, disarmed, unarmed, same thing. Yes, it is. Sounds like it. What else did Natchez say? He said he followed Mr. Smeet up into the mountains. And he saw him go into the old friar's mine. Then he saw him come out and ride away. Then Natchez went on into the mountains with his people. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But I do believe you, honey. Now, wait a minute. Those two men who bothered you said that something valuable was missing. And Natchez said he saw Frank take something from your cousin's house. Frank knows what's in this note. I'm going out and bring Frank in, or Natchez, or both. Take this to Marshall Forrester, translate it for him, and take good care of it, honey. It's evidence. Bill, please, dear. If you have to shoot, shoot first. I want you, not a memory. Tú eres todo mi corazón. Whatever that means. You are my whole heart. Howdy, Frank. Oh, howdy, Bill. Kind of edgy, aren't you? Well, yeah, I, I, I thought you were Natchez. I had him, but he got away. Mm -hmm. You sent his horse home. Uh, does that mean he won't need it anymore? Well, he's on foot now. I want him on foot. It's easier to run down. 
Let's go after him. No, I, I just went through the whole place. He probably got out one of those other galleries. You saw me come out, didn't you? Well, if you've covered it. Forrester wants to see Natchez with an interpreter. Now, let's get busy. Uh, there's an air shaft comes out on that crest over there, and there's another tailing dump entrance over that shoulder. I'll take one, you take the other. Uh -uh. We want you to clear up a couple of things, too. I'll be down to the office as soon as I find that Apache. Frank, we've been friends a long time. A spell? I owe you a lot. You saved my life and even my job. Yeah? Conchita tells me one thing about the Alvarado killing, and you tell me the opposite. What did she tell you? Why'd you kill Alvarado? Rustling had no part in it, did it? Didn't it? You took something from Alvarado's place. Did I? And you translated Natchez's note all wrong. How would you know? You don't understand Spanish. Conchita does. She read it to us. Us? Forrest and me. It seems that Natchez saw the whole thing and followed you here. It seems you killed an unarmed man. For a reason. What reason? I think we both know. How'd you like to take a good licking today? Frank, if you're in trouble and acted out of hand, and if I can help you, I will. Providing it's legal-like. You just called me a liar and a murderer. And you'd rather take an Apache's word than mine. I'll give you a chance to draw first. You got crazy, Frank. Come on, draw, I said! Turn around. Give me the note. You're giving yourself away. Give it to me! You always said that evidence should be kept secure. Where is it? In the marshal's office. Let's go.
Hello, Frank. You seem to be in a hurry. Get rid of this horse for me. Always glad to help a man in trouble. Hurry up, will you? Caballo atrás. Mm -hmm. Hide me out. Cover up for me. That doesn't come within my duties and prerogatives as Indian agent. I'll pay. How beautiful. Looks like Marshal Forrest is one of them. Come on. You're not afraid of your own boss, are you? Get inside. Remember, I'll be right inside. Keep it civilized, Frank. Howdy, Mr. Charlton. Greetings, Marshal. How is my colleague in government service? May I help you? Looking for one of my deputies. Frank Smade seemed to be heading in this direction. Have you seen him? What kind of a price is on his head? I'm sorry, Mr. Marshall, bad joke. One mustn't joke about politics, religion, or police matters. No, I haven't seen Frank around. Well, I'd be obliged if he comes by this way. You tell him I want to see him, clear up the case. I will, sir. Nothing happens in my domain I don't know about. Has uh, Bill Gentry been by? You seem to have lost your entire department, Marshal. Stop by again sometime. Always wanted to get to know you better. I make the time. <laughs> Will you kindly stop acting like Billy the Kid? I'm dead serious, friend. All I want from you is a couple of your best trackers to take me on the back mountain trails and across the border. Simple and simply said. I'll give you 1,000 gold. Your price is picky on. What do you mean? Well, in view of the fact that you high graded around $8,000, in view of the fact that you deliberately eradicated Carlos Alvarado to clear your own name. You're lying. My Apaches don't lie to me. Except on small matters. I just saw everything, and he told me everything. In view of the fact that you probably have in your possession right now $8,000 in cold gold, let's split it down the middle, like gentlemen, in a gentlemanly way. Those are your terms, huh? All right. I hate to see a human being helpless. Of course, it does have its advantages. Just give me $4,000, and we can proceed. You think I'm crazy? And where is it? My business. How far? A short, hard ride on a fast cayuse. All right. Go get it. I'm not coming back here. Quite so. Once in, once out. You'll meet my man, Jimson. You know him? Yeah. That dried-up clerk of yours. You'll meet Jimson behind the old mission at 10 tonight. Make it nine. I want to put a lot of miles behind me before morning. You'll be all set and ready to leave the mission after you've paid my man? Sure. Just have your trackers there ready to take me. Don't worry. You'll be taken care of. Oso will be one. He's excellent. You rascal. That's good liquor. Finish it. I was going to send him. But you can take Chato instead. Better build me a couple of those. I'm holding up in here until dark. Sure he hasn't been by, ma'am? No, sir, Mr. Marshall. There ain't been but one rider by today, and that was Jess Johnson. He rides for the bar XK. Well, thank you kindly, ma'am. It's all right, sir.
That you, Jensen? Yeah, it's me. Show yourself. Step out where I can see you. Where are the trackers? Well, tell them to get on the saddles. Mr. Charlton said the money first. Tell them to mount. Mr. Charlton said I'm to count the money. Here. All right, the three of you. Come on, let's go. Vamanos, handle it. Hey, what are you trying to do? Turn around and you're dead. Mr. Charlton warned me there might be some kind of swindle. There's nothing but rocks in here. Oh, well, I, I got the wrong sack. These are my ore samples. The gold's out in the other saddlebag. Tell your friends to let me go and get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Chef. Come on.
Give up, Frank. Maybe my orders have been changed. Mrs. Gentry, Mr. Marshal Bill Gentry. Yes, sir. As Marshal of the Southern District of Arizona Territory, I want to present this token of good luck to the new Marshal of the Northern District. Had it made in Albuquerque, Bill. Thought it never would get here in time. Thank you, Wayne. Well, good luck to you. A long and happy life to you both. Thank you. Senor Simmons. Didn't your mule kick you? There's the money. You have decided to pay and stay. No one drives me off my land. Not even Mr. Wells, who thinks he's the high mucky muck around here. Nobody wants you to leave, senor. Especially Mr. Wills. As long as you pay for his kindness. Yeah, his kindness. His gunslingers cutting my fences. Using my pigs for pistol targets. Beating me up. Someday there'll be law in this country, and I'll be the first witness against Mr. Wills. Adios, Senor Simmons, and come back with the rest of your payment. You are twenty dollars short. <laughs>
Alvarado. Alvarado. Ah, señor Mariscal Smith. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Come in, señor. I will make some coffee. I, I'd like to show you something first. You alone? Si, yes, alone. How about that Apache hand of yours? Natchez? Natchez I sent to town for frijoles and rice. And of course, always coffee. Natchez be along pronto. Maybe a little while. You want him? No, you. You're, uh, you're sure you're alone? Completamente, senor. Sometimes I do not siesta alone. Today, yes. Speak what you wish. We are alone with God. Good. Señora, mi vida es dura. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde está? Querido, chiquito, where are you, where are you now? You left and I let you, I'll never forget you. A donde, a donde estas? Your smile and your eyes were nothing but lies. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Querido, chiquito, a donde, a donde estas? Tus besos perdidos no son olvidados. A donde, a donde estas? Querido, chiquito, where are you? Where are hey, you? Hey, you have to know Frank Smith? Shh. I love you, I need you. I'm sorry I freed you. Although Mr. Smith, Marshal Smith, quiet. You're gone, and I'm glad. It's remembering that's bad. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Querido, chiquito. We'd like a little palaver with you. Just take a moment, Tito. Alone this time. Puerco. I'm sorry, Conchita. Haven't you done enough evil for one day? Haven't you? Please, Conchita. I, I was only trying to tell him to shut up. Come on outside, both of you. No, Mr. Deputy Marshal Smead. You just wanted to hear from the horse's mouth while you sent Alvarado up Salt Creek. Was it, um, line of duty? The marshal's got my report. Ask him. We got a message for you. More important than a message. An order. Very important order from a very important figure hereabouts. When he whispers, people take it for shouting. Get to it. What do you want? The boss of the T. Laser W wants to palaver with you. Mr. Thornton Wills at the main ranch house. I don't know him. Never had any business with him. You have now, Johnny Law. Trot. Don't mosey. Here. Here's your present. Just a moment, Kitchen. I want to tell you exactly how it happened. Asesino. Tengo cuidado. I don't like to be called murderer. Now, listen to me. I don't blame you for feeling the way you do. But you haven't heard my side of it. And you're going to if I have to hog tie it. Bill Gentry's my best friend. I don't want anything to happen to that. You're his girl, and you're going to marry him, aren't you? Yes. All right. That's why I came here myself personally to tell you exactly how it happened. 
I don't want you going around with any wrong ideas. Do you think it's easy to shoot a man and then have to tell it to his kinfolk? Please, leave me alone. I'm tired and upset and I'm going home. I'll walk you to the door. I don't want to be seen with you. I said I'll walk you to the door. Now, are you going peaceful-like, or do I have to keep a hold of your arm? I usually go out the side door. No. Across the whole room. I want people to see us. That whipping you gave me might have sprouted a lot of wrong ideas in people's heads. Looked like you might directly be accusing me of something. Now, uh, come on. I went out to your cousin's place to ask him about some Russell beef. I didn't think he had anything to do with it. I was just investigating. But Carlos flared up, he went for his gun, and I had to protect myself. Mr. Smead, I've heard you're an expert with the gun. But you did not have to kill him, did you? Well, there was nothing else I could do. His second shot knocked me down, and I was shooting from the ground. Believe me, I'm, I'm sorry it happened. I, I wish it hadn't. But I just wanted you to know how it happened. Bye from here, senor. Adios. Getting someone? Who? Bill Gentry, who loves you. Oh, I love you too, dear. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Except, I have no family now. We'll raise our own, honey. When? Can't we get married soon? Soon. A week, two days. <laughs> oh, will you stop it, honey? It can't be too soon for me. But you know where I stand. You know I'm up for Marshal of the Northern Territory. It's bound to come through. Forrester wrote Senator Calkins. You know, I, I hope it happens tomorrow. And when we do get married, it'll be with better pay and a, in a new town with new friends. What's the matter? Frank came into the dance hall tonight, Bill, to tell me how it happened. Oh, I should hate him. No matter what he says, I hate him. Now, listen to me, honey. Frank only did what any man who is a man would do, defend himself. Besides, you know that Carlos was hot-headed and proud. Well, the whole world knew that, Bill. He had hot peppers in his brain. And honey, try not to be bitter. No, it's bad for you, not for him. Believe me, honey, I know Frank. We've been through a lot together. And if there was ever a friend I could chalk up, he'd be the first. You know, it took a lot of guts, Frank, coming to you the way he did. Shows the kind of character he's got. You suppose you're right, Bill. But I can't help the way I feel. You know, you should have thanked him. Do you think so? But he was very kind, and he said he was sorry. Oh, Bill, will you tell him? Will you tell him I'm sorry? Soon, Bill. Soon. Soon. Good night. sleeping in every room. We've got some questions for you. You listen, you answer, and you make no noise. Now, here's what we want to know. Listen carefully. Think. Do you know what your cousin Carlos Alvarado is doing? Did you ever see Deputy Smead at Carlos's place? Did you ever see him anywhere together? Were they friends or enemies? Now, you tell us. But no uproar, no ruckus, and I'll let you go.
Drop the guns. Easy like. You too. Over there with your partner. Face the wall. Put your hands high on the wall. Yeah, Johnny. If they did, I'll kill him right here on the spot. No, no, Bill, no. I'm, I'm all right. I'm put a hand on you? No. All right, you two. I'm taking you down to the courthouse. And I'd think it kindly if you try to make a run for it. I like a moving target. Ain't no call to make a Texas twister out of this. We were just waiting in the room, waiting to talk to her. In the dark? All right, let's go. We'd like to know the charge. All right, take a handful. Illegal entry, assault and battery. Suspicion of burglary and resisting arrest. Come on. Go downstairs and stay with Mrs. Trail. Now, come on, hands and circulate. Say, circle around, give you first aid. Now, men, let's put your left hand. Say, you walk right in, rock right, left wing. Say, we go, Sam, and we go, Stu. Now, there's Dale with a run down shoes, go promenade. Hey, promenade. That'd be Mr. Thornton W. Wills over there. It just couldn't be anyone else. Good evening, Mr. Wills. Howdy. You that deputy, eh? I had words you wanted to say me. Mighty kind of you to come. Grab yourself some grub, and it's an order red eye. No, thanks. Okay, boys, let's fiddle up. Now, wait a minute, Foghorn. I'll call this one. Go wet down that dusty collar of yours. Okay, Thorny. Thanks. Form your squares, folks. How about that old do si do ho down? <laughs> All set, boys. Everybody in your places. Straighten up your faces. Tighten up your traces for another long pull. All right, boys, let's go. Now, it's on us to the right. And on us to the left. Now we'll all join hands and circle to the left. Something of mine is missing. I will break and swing and promenade home. It's promenade, boys. Promenade. Somewhere around eight thousand dollars in gold pieces. Eight, ten, twenty thousand dollars. But the common have got to learn that they can't go cutting farmers' fences. The settlers have got to learn that they can't bushwhack a line rider without answering to the law. The hog leg is on its way out. The law's coming in. This thing will end up in the museum. Oh, I, I know. You said self-defense. Gentry's findings will probably bury you out. And when they do, I'll back you to the last cartridge. But I've made it pretty plain to the whole country around here where I stand on gunplay. I've got to be sure. Well, you can wash your hands of me soon. Any news of my transfer yet? No. I'd appreciate it if you get in touch with the marshal in Tucson and hurry it along. Well, you can't leave till your replacement gets here. And not until this Alvarado mess is cleared up. Get that arm tended to and write out your report. Where you been, Billy boy? Checking the corpse. That's my work as coroner and undertaker. Where is it? Down the creek bottom, a big drag tail. He was dragged from the Lazy W onto Alvarado's place. Dragged? Hmm. That'll be a hard one to fix up for the funeral. Since when have you been embalming cow critters, Doc? Oh. <laughs> What'd you find? Oh, very interesting. Speaking of how, as undertaker or coroner? Both. As coroner, I'd say he was shot from high up, like Deputy Smead was on horseback. 
Or else call us crabs when he came a-shooting. And his undertaker? Oh, he'll look fine. Great subject, fine features. A little pomade on the hair, a little color on the cheeks. Call us Al Rotto or be a picture. You know, one thing about the Spanish people. They sure do right by their dead. Mm-hmm. At your price. Let's get him in the wagon. Yeah. Careful. Now, careful of them. Easy. <clears throat> well, I guess I got all the data I need. Going to hold an inquest? Oh, I don't think so. He was shot in front. Just one of them things. Lucky man lives. Lucky Frank Smead? Did you ever see that man handle a six-gun? I never carry a gun myself. Just a couple of cigars. Settles any argument. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carner needs more data. Uh, El Rodas next to Ken? Conchita. Con every other Spanish girl in town is named Conchita. And every other one is called Lupi. Conchita sings at the cantina. Oh, that one. A flower of beauty. <laughs> uh, relationship to the deceased? Cousin. C-U-Z-I-N. Now, uh... The undertaker can presume that this Conchita will defray the burying expenses. Can ask her. But don't sell her the gold hearse with the black and silver lash up. Oh, now, Bill. A baby comes into the world a howling and a bellering. A man ought to go out in silent dignity, proper life. Keep your hands steady. Would, uh, would you gentlemen like a cigar? What are you two doing in here? Same as you, Marshal. Gathering information like you. You're strangers, aren't you? You Texans? Never ask a man if he's from Texas. If he ain't, why make him feel bad? If he is, he'll tell you soon enough. Who dry goes to Alvarado? If you want to talk, put down them carbines. Who did Alvarado in? It, it, it was self-defense. Who, I said? Frank Smead, Deputy Marshal. Deputy Marshal. He wears a star. He has to follow the law. Must have been self-defense, then. What are you two after? Alvarado worked for us. Alvarado hasn't worked in years. His cousin supports him. And we work for somebody higher up on the mountain. Something's missing. Something valuable. Very, very valuable. Want to file a theft complaint? No, just catch a thief. You're riding in circles and I don't follow you. Just give me an idea who you suspect and what you're after. Maybe I can help you. I told you. Some valuable's gone. And it didn't belong to Mr. Alvarado. It don't belong to us either. That's all? Except, have you seen that Apache around? No, but I'd like to talk to him. So would we. Just a minute, gents. You play too free and easy with them carbines in this country, and uh, this gentleman's going to do a great business. Yeah. Maybe the gold hurts with the silver lash. Why, Marshal, we ain't the least bit ornery. We just don't like anybody to leave us up a creek. What the heck kind of a fandango is that? You know, Texas had to petition four times to get herself taken into the United States. Why did Congress ever give in? Why? Why? I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Querido, chiquito, a donde, a donde está mi corazón.
Hi, Doc. Our thanks. Slow. Awful slow. Huh? Tried to kill me with this. What happened to him? Yes. Tried to drag us? No. Face to face showdown. He jumped you first. Self defense then. Yes, sir. Self defense. Who was it? Carlos Alvarado. But Carlos ain't no rustler. I didn't think he was either. Then why in the name of Sam Hill did you have to go and shoot him? Because I had to, Bill. Do you think I feel good about it? I'm sorry, Frank. I was riding on T. Lacey W. land along the line fence by Lost Doggy Creek. And I uh, came across this butchered beef on Alvarado's land, just over the other side of the fence. So I rode up to his place, just to ask him a few questions. I didn't figure he had anything to do with it. Well, uh, Carlos didn't like it. He got almighty high and huffy about it. Carlos always was hot-headed, sir. And he came at me, reared up, and had his gun out, and he had three shots. Well, one of them hit me. So it was him and me. Well, afterwards, I found that hide out in the barn. Anyone else see this? No. And the uh, body? I left him there for the coroner's report. You did right. If you like, I'll uh, ride out there with Doc Mott and bring the body in. No. You're a party in this. Send Gentry. I want a written report from you. Get the coroner and bring the body in. Yes, sir. I sure hated to have to do that, Wayne. You don't believe me, is that it? Is that why you sent Bill out? When a man is killed in this district, it's my job to investigate. Even when the killer happens to be one of my deputies. I don't like that word, killer. It's not a pleasant word. When one man kills another, that is the term. I've seen gunplay all my life, Frank. I came west out of St. Joe in a wagon train in 51. I was just a kid. I knew Bridger and Hickok and Bat Masters and Shotgun Thompson and a lot of others. It was Coyote Coyote in those days. The west was rough and tough, and the man had to be the same to last. 